Hey everyone, how's it going? Just a quick disclaimer for this video. Uh, my seasonal allergies have been hitting me especially hard uh, in the last week or so. So if I sound a bit weird in this video, I'm sorry, but my throat is like pretty sore at the moment. But anyways, I haven't posted World of Tanks in quite a while. And that's because I've been taking a break from it since about mid-February. Uh, so most of you might not even know that I played this game. But uh, anyways, I'm back playing it again. And I'm in my Tier 9 German heavy tank, the E75. And this is a heavy tank. I mean, if you say heavy tank, I think of the E75. It's got fantastic armor, as you'll see a little bit later in the video. It has a fairly high alpha damage gun as well. The reload and accuracy aren't particularly good, neither is the aim time. But its penetration is decent, and it does enough damage to, uh, to really scare some opponents. What this tank is especially good at is just dominating lower tier tanks and tanks that have subpar penetration on their guns. So, I'm at the moment feeling kind of alone on this flank. There's only four tanks behind me, really. This comet that's pushing up on my right is about to die horribly. And most of the team is over on the east flank. And I'll just say it right now, they don't do very well. Although, they slow the enemy team down long enough for me to mop up this flank with the help of the Jagdtiger 88cm. Or no, sorry, 8.8cm, not 88cm. That'd be insane. And the STA-1. My goal here is basically to kill this ST-1 because he is the enemy team's only tier 9 tank, and this is like my E-75, the ST-1 is a very heavily armored tank, which excels at bullying lower tier tanks. So I want to get him out of the game as quickly as possible. I'm getting worried here because I figure I might be surrounded um, by all of the enemy tanks pushing in on me. and. I got a bit lucky here with this AMX-50-100 in two ways. The first way is that he only had two shells in his magazine, neither of which did any real damage to me. And secondly, I managed to set him on fire with my uh, second hit, which basically one-shot him. Uh, now I'm trying to get around behind the two enemy heavies, because I think our STA-1 can deal with the A-44 that's coming behind him. I finish off the IS-6 with one shot, and then I move on to the ST-1. ST-1 has thick armor, but uh, the rear of the tank, not so much. I'm able to finish him off with one shot as well. STA-1 kills the A-44, and this AMX 12T who made a hero run to finish off the Jagdtiger 8.8 cm is about to be finished off by me as well with one shot. So now we've dealt with the whole western flank, and for whatever reason, the STA 1 and the Jag Panther 2 both decide that now is the time to push in on the enemy base where they're both about to die horribly to a T-28 prototype and an ISC-152. Meanwhile, we have actually evened up the scores, surprisingly, but our eastern flank is just being torn apart by a very skilled IS-3 and uh, a wolf pack of mediums along with a KV-5 as well. And right about now, the STA-1 is about to die. Yep. 
and it's just leaving the Jagdpanther 2 against two enemy tier 8 tank destroyers. Now I want to help this Jagdpanther 2 out, but I also want to try and move over to the eastern flank before the rest of my team gets finished off. I'm about to get a shot here on the ISU, but unfortunately I end up leading it too much, and I think it actually hits his gun, but I'm not sure. Yep, right about here. Unfortunately, the, uh, the replay isn't showing his outline for whatever reason. But from where I saw the shell go, it looked like it hits his gun. And the last two tanks on the east are just being utterly ravaged by the enemy team. Thankfully, though, somebody on my team, I didn't see who, managed to kill the enemy IS-3, which luckily for me took a very skilled enemy player out of action. I managed to finish off the T-44 with one shot, and now it's an Object 416 and a T-69 both attacking me. Now, in a previous game, I actually saw a Jagdpanzer E-100 back up into the corner, the K-0 corner on steps and basically force all of my team to come at him frontally, which, as you can imagine, is a very good thing for a Jagdpanzer E-100 because they have a ton of armor frontally. And ideally right now I want to turn this 1v5 into a bunch of 1v1s where I can make the most out of my armor. I don't have to angle against multiple opponents. At this point, though, I wasn't really thinking that too much. I was just thinking, if I'm going to die, I'm just going to be as much of a pain to the enemy team as I possibly can, and deal as much damage as I can, and maybe get a top gun so that I get as much experience as I would for winning, even if we lose. Now, the KV-5 is directly on my right flank, however, I'm not very worried about him because his penetration on the gun that the KV-5 has is very low, and I actually have decent side and rear armor when angled. What I'm most worried about is this ISU-152 that's in front of me that has been bouncing off of me somehow. By all rights, I think I should have been dead in this game just from this ISU-152 alone. I mean, he has 276 millimeters of penetration on that BL-10 gun. And I make a bit of a misplay here. I see the T-69 on my left, and I just can't decide who to look at, the KV-5 or the T-69. I really should have been focusing on the T-69, because he has a greater chance of penetrating me and dealing damage. So I took some damage unnecessarily. KV-5 is still bouncing off me, and I decide to go for it to ram this object 416 to death. And managed to finish off the ISU 152 with one shot. And it's now just here that I'm realizing that I actually can win this game. I'm just hoping that the T-28 prototype doesn't sneak up behind me while I'm fighting this KV-5. Because that's the only real way I can I can lose against this guy is if the T-28 gets me from behind. And I finish off the KV-5, and I'm about to go hunting for the T-28 prototype, and I just notice him here, and okay, get back, get back, behind the wreck of the 416, try to hide my lower plate, and I've loaded APCR because I don't want any of my shots to bounce. I just want to kill this guy and be done with this game, because I was just all kinds of nervous, hoping I don't screw up here. I don't get ammo racked, I don't get set on fire, anything. And I use the, uh, the objects in base which haven't been destroyed for 
uh, some hardcover. Although, I'm not actually sure if it keeps me from being detected or not. But, uh, he could actually shoot through that into me. But I was thinking that maybe it would stop me from being spotted by him as I approach him. And now it's just a matter of who flinches first. And that would be the T-28, who only tracks damages me. Shoot him in the side for 10 kills and the win. Pretty good game if I do say so myself. I managed to pick up the Mastery Badge Ace Tanker. Uh, this isn't my first Ace. I think it's my third or fourth at the moment. As well as the Kolobanov's Medal and Pool's Medal, both of which is my first time getting them. Top Gun, Steel Wall, and High Caliber. I fired 20 shots, of which 20 of those hit, dealing 6,000... 825 damage, and netting me 1,678 base experience. This game really goes to show you what an E75 can do against lower tier tanks with not very high penetration guns, especially when you make them fight you head on, when you can make the most out of your armor. And even the ISU-152 with 276 millimeters of penetration on that BL-10 gun wasn't able to penetrate me once. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and maybe I'll catch you next time. Happy hunting.